Hello healers! Thanks for clicking in this video. Thanks for coming to this different, a bit different video today. I decided to do regarding uh, relationships, if it's a soulmate, twin flame or karmic relationships. I found some beautiful information online and I'll make sure to link it online, the original link and details. But I just uh, felt that it would be lovely to have a video regarding this and a reading and with some pictures as well and just to let you know a little bit more about these beautiful and challenging relationships. So if, like always if you want to follow me and all the details will be on the description below. Thanks again for clicking and let me share with you all the information I found. We all desire not to just fall in love but to be part of that once in a lifetime of love story. Here's how to differentiate between your love relationships, karmic, soulmate or twin flame, as you move on through life. As we are evolving, so are our romantic relationships. No longer we are satisfied by those unions that are convenient or that seem to fulfill specific ideals that our families or society have taught us we should aspire to. We are searching for that once in a lifetime crazy type of love. But what really separates twin flames from soulmates and karmic relationships? The biggest truth is that one of these relationships isn't better than the other. It just depends on what lifetime we are in here on earth and what lessons we currently are in the process of learning. Sometimes we may experience none of these relationships in a lifetime and in others we may experience all three. The reality is that we often don't truly realize which type of relationship we had until long after it's passed and the lessons have been absorbed. One of the first relationships we usually enter into is a karmic one. Karmic relationships often are those lessons that we were unable to learn in a previous lifetime. These people aren't meant to take it easy on us because they are meant to change our way of life. The addiction of karmic relationships is that it seems no matter how many tries we give in, it just doesn't seem to work. But that is because karmic relationships aren't supposed to work out. We aren't supposed to live our lives with our karmic partner. It's hard to accept because it's usually not an issue of love or even about compatibility. Sometimes it's just off it doesn't work, no matter how much we wish it did. But the worst decision we can make it is to choose not to let go. Karmic relationships burn hot and seem almost intoxicating at times. But the entire point of this type of relationships is to come into our lives, change us, and then leave. Oftentimes, those people who married and divorced young have married their karmic relationship instead of letting them go when the time came. The most important lesson for us is that we have just to be strong enough to let them move and when the time comes, because no matter what type of relationship we are in, we shouldn't have to chain ourselves to it in order to not lose it. Although some of us may experience several karmic relationships in our lifetime, the next stage after conquer those lessons is often the soulmate love. Soulmates can be just the best kind of love. They can be simple and sweet, yet as complex as the notes within the vintage melody. Soulmates often are those we marry and choose to build a life with, because there is just a unique connection present. These are the few good people in our lives and they just seem to touch us on an entirely different level. As wonderful as they can be though, soulmates don't always take it easy on us. One of the reasons that we, go, we get so confused by which type of relationship we are in it's because in all of these connections, challenges will be present. None of these relationships are about appeasing us or making our egos comfortable. Yet, the soulmate 
differs from the karmic relationship by the type of lesson being learned and the way in which it is presented. Karmic relationships are often about how we view the outside world and others, while the soulmate will trigger those internal lessons involving self-worth, fear, societal pressures, and our worthiness of love. We simply attract a at whatever frequency we are currently vibrating on. Soulmates are those who we feel an undeniable connection to, as if we've known one another before simply upon meeting. The biggest indicator of a soulmate love is that they make us feel like it's us that needs working on, not them or even issues that exist within the relationship. Sometimes, it's even the feeling of not deserving the other person. Certain soulmates come into our lives whose only purpose is to help us realize our greatness and to assist us in taking one on those big questions involving the self and starting to discover the answers to further our evolution and process of self-awareness. Soulmates are also the ones who care about us the most versus the karmic lovers who only concern is of their own self and needs. These beautiful types of bonds don't necessarily have to be romantic even. For more often than not, we travel in similar soul circles with, within each lifetime, and those who are family aren't necessarily those who we share blood with. As transcending and eye-opening as the romantic relationship can be with a soulmate, it isn't anything compared to experiencing a being reconnected with our twin flame. Twin flames are often regarded as an urban myth of the spirituality enlightenment, but as society is raising their level of consciousness, the more their connection is occurring. Twin flames are a mix of both karmic and soulmate tendencies, along with some entirely new qualities which will only further challenge our ego and sense of self. Twin flames aren't just those that we connect with on a soul level, but they are someone we share the same soul with. As the theory states, twin flames were separated from one soul source in the beginning of time and split into two physical bodies. There is a mirror-like quality when we come into contact with our twin flame. Everything that we have spent our lives running from or denying is suddenly in front of us. These types of lovers confront us with our very freer or ego-driven desires, but they aren't just about what's inside. They're about how we interact with every facet of our, our life. Not all of us will be reunited with our twin flame, but if we are, it has the possibility to be that once in a lifetime ain't nothing ever gonna be the same type of love. There will be challenges and fears present, without a doubt. There will be phases of running and chasing, depending upon the spiritual and personal development of both individuals. But regardless of any of these challenges, it is possible to reunite and stay with our twin flame, although it is speculated that only occurs in one's lifetime here on Earth. Regardless of what type of romantic relationship we find ourselves in, there will be obstacles and challenges that have the potential to assist us in our growth and evolution. The one important thing to remember through all of these types of relationships is that if someone is trying to move on, it's vital that we let them go. Whether they are a karmic relationship whose only purpose is to come into our lives to be the catalyst of change, or if they are the soulmate who's here to challenge us to lovingly become the best person we can, or if they simply are our other half, there is no love that we will have to beg for or hold on to tightly to out of fear of losing it. Regardless of what type of relationship it is, the love we deserve is also the one that will want us as much as we want it. Because the truth is, if we do love someone, the only thing we can do 
is set them free, knowing that if it is meant to be, they will return. And if they don't, then they are just one of the most beautiful lessons we will learn. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this different video. If you're not yet, please subscribe for more, there are many more interesting videos in this channel. I hope you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Bye bye!